Hey guys, it's Tony here at Game Freak again, just bringing you, yes you, another video. In case you've been hiding under a rock for the past several months, you will know that Halo 4 is out in the wild. It is available now, you can get your grubby mitts on it at this very moment in time. This is some multiplayer gameplay that I had on the night of release with the guys from the third schism forum, Bryony, Craigie, Scunny United, uh, uh, blah, 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 Cabbage. Who else was on there? There was loads of us on there. Um, so this is some multiplayer gameplay from the map Ragnarok, uh, which is obviously a remake of the Halo... Uh, was it Halo 3 or Halo Reach? I actually can't remember. I think it was Halo 3 uh, multiplayer game. Uh, I'm just uh, getting this video. We're going to give you some quick initial thoughts of my feelings about Halo 4, the campaign, and multiplayer modes. Don't worry if you haven't played through the game yet. You're waiting on payday to come. You're going to get it. I'm not going to give any spoilers regarding the campaign because that would just be hideously unfair. I'm just going to talk about the campaign in general, exactly what I liked and exactly what I liked in the multiplayer mode. Um, so we played, there were, there were some initial server issues on the very first day of release. Uh, you could get into a game quite happily single player, but we were really struggling to get in, in uh, within a party. And it took us, I think we were messing about for about two hours or so to try and get into a game. And it, 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 we, we got into, I, I think, two. Uh, I literally played two, and that was it. The servers are all fine and dandy now, so essentially you're going to have no problems getting online. So first things first, over to the campaign. I haven't actually finished the campaign yet. Judging from the storyline, I'm as far as, damn it, into the campaign as you could possibly get. I believe I'm pr pretty much on the penultimate level of the game. Um... The campaign itself is is absolutely fantastic. It's it's extremely well paced. Graphically, it is the the best looking Halo game so far. I mean, graf graphics wise, you cannot fault it whatsoever. Um, the actual character models of the Master Chief himself, uh, the character models of the Elite, the character models of pretty much everything in in the game are absolutely fantastic, and it's tail ended in certain levels with some fantastic cutscenes. I mean, the introductory cutscene to the campaign initially, the, the the quality is that high. I initially thought it was live action. It's absolutely stunning to look at. It's really really good. Um, as I said, the pace of the campaign is is absolutely fine. It mixes up uh, the kind of more hand to hand intense. Um, in building kind of close quarters fighting with the more outdoors uh, big epic vehicle vehicular based combat um, my only gripe um, so far with the with the campaign in the actual levels is that it's lacking a, a little bit of scope that the other games kind of had uh, in the other halo games there were certain battles that were just fought on these absolutely massive battlegrounds and you you really did feel like you were uh, taking in part of a war there are certain little bits within Halo 4 that do evoke the same kind of feeling, but the actual levels themselves, they're a little bit more closed in. You tend to be fighting in a lot of kind of valley areas, um, which, uh, I mean, I mean, it keeps it nice and tight, but it just kind of lacks that, that little kind of bit of spectacularness that uh, you had in games such as like Halo 3 and the original Halo as well. Um, it, it's nothing to moan about. It works absolutely well, but I've, I've just got. To, it was just my personal feeling that I just thought that uh, a few more nice, wider vistas would have been more appreciated in the game. Uh, the, the other gripe that I've got with the campaign mode is the story. Um, now, I'm not one of these people that goes and reads all of the kind of back um, uh, backstory kind of novel so there may be some kind of stuff that I'm missing out on here I did read the Fall of Reach novel which I thought was absolutely fantastic but I've read nothing else uh, novel wise and it does seem like in the stories it's almost like it's Halo 5 you, you, I kind of get the impression that I'm missing out on a lot of stuff because they're covering things in the game that it seems like I should already know but I don't and it's just who, who's this guy who's what why is he fighting this what, what we're doing here again it's it's pretty much convoluted the story is um, which I've got to give it a, a, a kind of half thumbs down for it's it's still kind of interesting and it it still gives you a sense of urgency for some reason but um, uh, on the whole the, the campaign mode is great there's some fantastic vehicle combat sections there's new vehicles and new weaponry uh, introduced there's a version of the um, elephant tank with a great big huge uh, railgun on the top and this is called the mammoth 
and I'm extremely hoping that they bring back a Halo 4 version, a reimagining of the Sandtrap map with this Mammoth Onyx. It would be a fantastic thing to play. Um, I can't really say that much about the, more about the campaign without spoiling it, but um, it's, it's really enjoyable. It's really tense. I'm not a big fan of the new Promethean enemies in it. It's, they just seem a little bit kind of like shoveled in. Um, they're almost like the same versions of the Covenant. You've got the bigger kind of shielder troops. You've got the super duper big shielder troops. You've got the little versions that are kind of like the grunt equivalents of the uh, Prometheans, which um, again they're all right, but I don't really get that much of a feel about them as an enemy as I do with the Covenant. Onto the multiplayer side of the games, it is Halo through and through. It's absolutely stunning to play. Um, as in the campaign, as in multiplayer, the sound quality is bumped up to the nth degree. Weapons feel extremely meaty. The maps are absolutely fantastic to play. Some of the modes, such as like the Flood, is basically just a skin ver reskin version of Infection, which is, again, it's no bad thing. We've had some last King of the Hill. Everything is in there. I cannot wait to see what some people start doing with Forge. Um... I mean, there's nothing more you can say apart from that it's Halo through and through. Um, so that's my initial thoughts on the campaign and the multiplayer modes. Thanks to Briny, Craig, uh, Scunny United, Cabbage, everyone else from the Third Schism Forum that joined me in playing these games the other night. I'm going to be uploading lots more Halo gameplay footage as the weeks go on. We, I recorded about 10 games that we played the other night, so be prepared for a Game Freak blog Halo Fest. It's Tony here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry it's been such a long time since my last video between this one but i will remedy that in the future hope you're doing well let me know what you think about halo down in the comment section and i will catch you in the next video that's an order